Hello there, I'm back again and today I'll be working with these watercolour pencils from Prima Marketing and I'll be colouring in this cute girl, gorgeous girl she's called and I have placed the pens in a glass jar like this and I'll be just taking, you know, I think I'll just place them like so and I think I'll start off by just making a little bit of colour in her face and I mean actually what you could do you could actually colour the complete girl in uh, with these pens if you would like to and you could colour the and do the colouring at once although not perhaps in the same uh, sort of overlapping areas but I'm just going to go like this so you can see that the colour is really fluid and it stretches quite a bit and I'm just going to drag here and there because I know that the colour is going to stretch right quite far and I'm just going to put a little bit of water there and just going to drag it like this and I'm still using that watercolour brush from Sakura which is called Koi, Koi, and I think this one is the medium sized. I believe there are three sizes to these. And you see, just by using the water brush, you get a sort of splotchy effect, and I like that. I don't like things to be quite even, and I do like some kind of a something happening there. there. So let's see, what should I go for? I mean, the hair is rather th nice to colour in with some different colours. I mean, you could go for... You could go for really bold colours if you would like to. You could just go in with some red, perhaps, here and there. And you could also... You know, I think I'll just... And I might actually just go in and do the red at once. Red is mostly a colour that will absolutely stain everything, so I had better take care colouring this one in now. Just paying attention. So if I stretch the colour really far, I mean, I can make it shift from either red to pink. Oh, I could actually make it really nice and pale as well if I would like to. And just by picking it up and spreading in the colour to either the right or the left, I can actually make sort of highlights an effect that looks like highlights. I mustn't forget about the back of the head there. So if you're looking for an easy way to colour things, I mean, these pens are rather nice, I must say. And I'm thinking that I might actually try to stretch this and make it a really light pink there. I might go over this with some other colours in a minute or two. But for now, I'll settle for that. I'm thinking that a green dress could be nice on her. I'm seeing a green colour here. So I'm Actually just put in a little bit of green there and there. And you see this is the beauty of this. I mean I don't have to be that particular about anything. I just put the colour in there. And I could also go for something perhaps a little bit darker green because then I'm going to get the a sort of a shadow effect. Just put it outside or something. Just where you think that you would like to have something a little bit greener going on. I'm just going to pick up the colour and spread it out. And here I'm going to work it and make those colours blend. And I'm going to drag it down. I'm going to keep it a little bit lighter in the centre if possible. And I'm going to make that a little bit darker green stretch a little bit. Let's see if I can do it a little bit better down here so you can see what I'm doing. 
And here I'm thinking that I might actually just clean it up a little bit just in case it were to be dark green because um, I want to keep this one as light as possible here. And now I'm actually ready to make these colors blend just to give it a little bit more interest. And I'm going to clean up the brush and I'm thinking of stretching the lighter green upwards. You know, this is a part that I seem to be forgetting about. So if I just pick up it, a little bit of colour from there, I might be able to make it work. And the same thing goes for this bit. I'm just going to drag it a little bit down below like that. And I'm going to make the bottom part lighter. And then I'm going to make the colors blend. And I'm thinking that this bit needs a little bit more green. So here we are with this one. And I'm thinking Perhaps I could make the pantyhose. Could I make them orange perhaps? Why not? So I'm just going to put in a little bit of colour there. Like that. And I'm just going to wet the brush a little bit and I'm going to drag the colour keeping it a little bit darker upstairs, so to speak, and just making it a little bit paler down below. That's good for now. And then I have to think about whether to try to erase that bit from there. I'm not sure I'll be able to manage it. Could try it out. Well, it sort of worked. And then I'm thinking that perhaps the paper should be white or really pale. I've got a colour called 02. I'm not sure if it's going to do anything really. And perhaps I could make the heart blue. And since a little goes a long way, I'm just going to start off with that little bit. So thus far, it looks like this. So I could settle for this one layered look. But I could also go in with some more colour. Let's see what will happen if I were to choose a yellow colour. I'm not sure if I have a yellow colour either. I could just try. Put me here and there just to see what could happen. Well now I had some colour in from before. But you see I still get I could get some action going in her, in her hair. I mean, it makes it a little bit more interesting, I believe. And the paint, or the, well, it is a sort of paint, I suppose. It doesn't dry permanent, so if I go in with some more water, it'll just dilute itself and blend with other, another, another color there. But I think I'll just stop here I'm um, sure you get the idea of what I mean. So these pencils are really easy to work with and I must say that they are great fun to work with actually. So that's it. I'm going to pause now and I'll be making another video with the Distress Marker pens.